G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're back with the SBS Mothership and we're going to start to construct the aquascape. Today we're going to show you the proper technique for using two forms of uh, adhesives to create this scape. We're going to use Stonefix and Epoxy. So let's get into it. So we're planning the aquascape for the SBS mothership and I just need to get a bit of a feel for the size of the structures that we're going to create. So having a look at the depth of this tank, we have 34 inches to the top panel. So that's 88 centimeters sort of thing. So we've got a really high tank that we have to build tall structures. So I want the structures to be at least two feet, which is to here. So that means we need to have big boulders that will stand up and be bridged across with other big structures. I want to have a number of rainbows so that we have negative space for the fish to swim through and we've got a heap of surface area for the corals. So we need tall, big pieces of rock. So we'll have to start by creating these pieces because the pieces, the size that we need are not commercially available. So let's go make our rock. So we're going to start with stone fix and the purpose of the stone fix is to create a really strong hold between the two bits of base rock and today we're really trying to create two, uh, some larger pieces that will form the foundation of our structure. So I have a mixing bowl, I'm just going to start with a couple of teaspoons, a bit of water, and the consistency is the key. It always takes me a little while to get the hang of how much of each to use. So I like it to be a slurry, fairly wet, ensuring that there's no lumps. So you wouldn't want it any wetter than this. I'll actually put one more. I like it to be able to sort of hold its own weight a little bit. That's uh, okay, that's probably good enough. So you need to work quickly. So I can see the seams in here. So I'm going to try and get it. So that's going to sit like that. And this is the challenge with the stone fix. Okay. So this is probably a better consistency.
and this is a better example of how I would use it because I can see there's a bit of paper there a very obvious point between the two rocks and I try and get as much into that seam as possible all right that's better wasn't very happy with the amount of contact between uh, again between the two rocks so I try and slowly increase the amount of a uh, stone fix that's joining the two just let it dribble down yep okay that's better now I'm not too worried about how much stone fix I use because of course well, first of all, it's cheap stuff, but of course it's going to have coralline growing over it and after being in the tank for a number of uh, weeks or months, you won't even be able to tell that the stone fix there. So I'm going to try and bridge between the two rocks, just here, with the stone fix. So this is a, a better consistency again. All right, good. Well moved. So I always try and get as much adhesive, be it stone fix or epoxy on as possible because once you've got a little bit on the the two rocks start to well, you've got less chance of them moving out of place. And I think after this I'll probably let it dry for a few hours even before I finish off with epoxy. So I'm going to try and get some stone fix up and underneath to join the two pieces of rock. Now, this is difficult with stone fix. Being a sloppy fluid almost, it's difficult to sort of push it up into a space like that. And this is probably where I'll use the epoxy in the future. But I've got some, uh, some stone fix made up, so I'll see if I can do it. Okay, so there's a bit of contact there. Not too bad. Just want to use as much of this stone fix as possible. Because this is a base section of our aquascape, it's very important that these rocks are bound very tightly and securely. Okay, so I'm going back to this spot again. Sometimes I find it easy to sort of do layers with the, the stone fix, make it thicker as we go. Alright, that's good. And so once this is dry, I'll be able to turn the pieces on the side and really fill in any spaces if I feel that it's not totally secure. So I want to join these two pieces together in a way that creates an overhang. And it's going to be difficult, but I just need to find a, an angle that it balances at. And then I'm going to use epoxy. Alright. So the epoxy that I like is the aqua stick, two little fishies. And the reason why I like this epoxy is because it has a great setting time, which makes it easy to work at the speed that's required for aquascaping large amounts. But I like the colour of it and the consistency. It's easy to use. And I start off with about a quarter of a stick. So I have a, a knife on hand. And once you've peeled off the plastic and taken off the end seals, I use about that much. And the way that you knead it is important. I start by breaking it up and once it's like so, I roll it into sausages and then balls. Sausages, then balls. And so you're looking to create a homogenous color.
like so. And I want to put this in the seams. I always have some water on hand so that I can have wet fingers when I'm kneading the epoxy into the rock work. So I like to use short snakes, probably like that. Now, one of the reasons why I like working with epoxy is because it's got quite a, a fast set time. So it means that I can put some epoxy on the pieces and then I know it's not gonna be too long before I can move the rock and put some in from the other angle. All right, so I'll go again. Okay. And epoxy is great because you can use it up and under. Just wet my fingers. So this is what you can't do with the stone fix. You can't use it from underneath. And it is a good idea when you really need a strong hold that you've got something holding from both above and underneath. Okay. So this is gonna be really secure. So the first piece of epoxy that we put in has started to go hard. So I've got confidence that I can move the piece around. And so we'll need uh, some epoxy in this section just to finalize so it'll be in there. And that way we'll have epoxy around the entire seam. And this is gonna be an extremely strong hold so we've got our last bit of epoxy. Actually, I do it in two. So I'll use this one, this should be enough. And of course, one of the good things about epoxy is that you can use it underwater. And there's not a lot of things you can use underwater in the same way as the epoxy. Uh, it's great stuff. Wet my fingers. Okay. Done. So it's been about 10 minutes since we did our epoxy rock and we'll just have a look at how strong it is. So we can comfortably pick up this rock and now I can see there's one section that I've missed. So I will put some epoxy in here just to finish it off, but this piece will now make an excellent addition to this one and we'll have one very large structure, which will be one of the main pillars in the SBS mothership. So I'll just put this last bit of epoxy on, and then we'll have a look at the stone fix pieces. I always feel that overhangs are one of the most important types of structure to have a really good hold because that's not really a natural balance for the rock and so if it's not secure then it's going to tumble and obviously that's a problem but that will be perfect so now let's have a look at the stone fix So 
It's been 20 or 30 minutes since we applied this stone fix and you can see that it's starting to change color. It's lightening. It's not fully dried and you can tell because it will crumble away. There we go. But it's secure enough that we can move the piece and we can look for sections that we might want to add more stone fix to. So what I'm going to do, I can see now I've got a perfect opportunity to fill this section here with stone fix, which will really create a very, very strong hold. And I'm also confident enough that I'll be able to turn this piece on its side without it breaking. So I wouldn't consider this completely secure, completely set until probably tomorrow but it's certainly set enough that I can move this rock around a bit. So I just need to prop it up a little bit. It's always good to have a variety of things at your disposal that you can use to prop your rock to secure it whilst you're gluing it. All right, so this is where we're gonna put the last of the stone picks. So I'm just gonna fill this hole completely with the stone fix and that way it'll be solid all the way through. I'll make sure I give this heaps of drying time. I won't even touch this again until probably two days from now and it will be completely 100% totally secure. Okay there's a lot of stone fix on that. It's good to be able to use stone fix in this way just being very generous with it. It's you know, not an expensive product, so it's great. So that's it. I'll leave this now to set, and uh, we'll put it in the SBS mothership. So this is the start of our aquascape for the SBS mothership, and it's coming along quite nicely. We have a lot more to do. Most of the aquascaping will be done inside the tank itself, but it's good to be able to get a start with some of the bigger pieces out of the tank and also to be able to demonstrate the proper use of these two products. So thanks so much for watching Gallery Aquatica TV and stay tuned for future episodes of SBS Mothership. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's gonna be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.